Right, good morning guys. Let's hope everyone is well and in good care. Right, okay, welcome to our topic. I think this is the next topic that we introduced last time, which is production possibility curve. Okay, so on PPC, I think it's written there. I have to put there in your notes. As uh, soon as you come back, I'm going to give you these notes. Right, um, it's written description, description of what, of uh, production possibility curves, uh, reflecting on what efficiencies and explain how they reconcile choice and scarcity. Right, okay, so learners should cover the following, the position of the po production possibility curve, determined by internal factors and determined by external factors then maximizing satisfaction from limited resources by means of what in different curves then consumption then production and finally effects of what inefficiencies okay so that's what we have there then we go the position of the production possibility curve describe the possibility what the production possibility curve which is ppc so the production possibility curve shows the alternative combination of any two goods or services that can be attained if all the variable resources are fully and efficiently employed so in other words we are talking about two products that are produced by one resource. For example, um, if we have flour, flour is it uh, able to, to, to produce bread and cakes or maybe bread and rolls? You see that. So we are talking about one resource that produces two types of products. Okay. Right. So the purpose of the PPC, it shows all possible combinations of goods that can be produced with a given set of resources. So we want to maximize use of what of all, of all those resources. Okay. Right. So the shape of the PPC, the production possibility curve, is the boundary between attained and unattained output combinations. The production possibility curve is concave to the origin. Okay, so this is what we mean by concave. So we have convex. Convex is like this. You see that? So this one is concave. So this one is convex. Don't, don't confuse the two. This is concave. Okay. So we have points A, B, C, D, and E. Okay, so on points A, B, C, D, and E, we are saying at A there, at A, all the resources are used to produce cell phones. Okay, so what are we saying here? We have uh, workers here. We are having what? Cell phones. We are using one resource to produce what? Workers and cell phones. Okay. So at point A, we can see that it is in the y-axis. We are not producing anything um, uh, like the workers. You see that we are only using, uh, we are using all those resources to produce what? Cell phones. So we are producing 600 watt cell phones. But now at B, at B, we are producing 500 cell phones and 300 watt uh, workers. You see that? Okay, so in other words, points A, B, C, D are the possible combinations production is what efficient, okay? Right, okay. So at B, like what I said, we are producing 500 cell phones and 300 watt um, workers. Then at C, we have um, 300 cell phones and then maybe 450 watt workers, okay? Then at D, we are producing less cell phones, which is 100 cell phones, but almost a 499 or 98 or 90 uh, workers. 
But at E now, we are using all the resources to produce workers. We are producing 500 watt workers. Okay, so that's what we have there. Right, okay. So at G, this one is under. Uh, we, are, we, are, we are doing under production or inefficient in terms of what production. This can be caused by what? Lack of, lack of skills. Maybe lack of raw materials. Maybe um, poor, quality, uh, poor quality of raw materials. Maybe the workers are not trained. Maybe machinery. We are using old, inadequate word, or obsolete machinery. We are under producing. We are producing under capacity. You see that? Right, okay. Then uh, at H, this point is an attainable word position. You see that? We are producing over the required word or the capacity. You see that? Right, so we are outside the, the production possibility word curve, our pos uh, production possibility curve. You see that? This can be attained. There is many ways or many reasons why we, we can be able to have this position. So this position is attained through uh, maybe um, maybe maybe uh, what can we say? We have advanced what machinery. We just bought advanced what machinery. Oh, what can you say? Maybe we have expertise. Our workers are too much trained. You see that they have um, uh, they have skills here. Yeah? Right. So, okay. So uh, this 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 position can be attained, or we we attained what um, quality raw materials than than we normally have. You see that. So that's what we have there. Okay. So so that's what we have on the pos uh, production possibility curve. Okay. So this diagram it shows uh, one of the source that is used to uh, to produce what. Um, Two products. Okay. Now we go to the next page. On the different combinations with possibilities there, A, workers are zero. This is what we have on the diagram there. Then cell phones are 600. Then B, workers are 175. Cell phones 575. Then C, we have 450 workers and then 275 cell phones. Then D, we have 500 what? workers and then zero cell phones so that's what you have there and it's interpreted on the word on the diagram here okay so that's what you have then we go to uh the curve now on explanation on the description there the production of workers is measured on the horizontal axis yeah this is what you mean by the horizontal axis then the production of one of cell phones is measured in the vertical axis or in the y-axis then the different uh the different attainable combinations in the table are represented by the points a b c and d when we move from point a to point b from point b to point c from point c to point d etc the production of workers increases while the production of cell phones decreases Okay, so that's what we have. If the business produces 600 cell phones, then zero workers can be produced. To produce the first 175 workers, there is a sacrifice of 25 cell phones, move from 600 to 575. Then, to produce 450 workers, there is a further sacrifice of what 300 what cell phones. If the business produces 500 watt workers, then zero cell phones can be produced. This curve shows that more workers can only be produced by sacrificing more cell phones or producing much less cell phones. <clears throat> right. So on the attainable point or position of point H, I think I've showed you on the diagram which is outside the PPC. Production at point H is impossible 
with the given water resource. It is outside the production possibility curve. To produce at H, the business needs more resources. Okay, I think I told you about uh, recent or modern technology or high quality what? Products. You see that. Or resources, in fact. Or trained uh, workforce. We can be able to get this at an unattainable what position. Then inefficient position, which is G, which falls inside the, the, the PPC. Production at point G is regarded as inefficient because it is inside the production possibility curve. Okay. If production occurs at point G, then there is a waste of water of resources. Okay. Then production can be increased up to any point on the production possibility what? curve. Right. Okay. So the, pro the possibility frontier curve illustrates the following. There is choice. There is sacrifice. There is opportunity to add cost. You see that. So on choice, like what I said, is illustrated by the need to choose among the available combinations along the curve. You see that. Where, where would you want to add to produce? Maybe at A or maybe at B or maybe at C or D or E. But as long as it falls along the PPC, then scarcity is illustrated by point H because all the points to the right of the curve are unattainable okay then we go to opportunity cost today right this is illustrated by the negative slope of the word of the curve more of one good can only be attained by sacrificing some of the other good opportunity cost is the trade-off between two goods right so uh opportunity cost like what i said is the cost of what of um foregoing one option you see that or available choice there so the opportunity cost is increasing the output of workers from 175 units to 450 units okay then opportunity cost of decreasing cell phones from 575 units to 575 units the increase is the increasing output of what 300 workers so movement along the what the production possibility curve the quantity of uh, the quantity of the available resource can increase or production techniques can what? Can improve. You see that. So we can be able to move along the curve. This is how we can be able to do so. So if this happens, the production possibility curve will shift outwards. If the PPC shifts outward, then it illustrates economic what? Growth. You see that. Right. So guys, that's what we have for today. So thank you for being with me. Meet next time.